educational. You get a bunch of money, you get a token, you get that, but you also get this ticket to the Players' Championship here at the end of the year. The now, prize. while I've seen you a bunch on the SCG Tour, you did quietly qualify for this event at the Hunter Burton, uh, Hunter Burton Memorial event, parlayed that into an invitational win. It's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, running pretty hot, running pretty hot. How did you decide on the two decks? Because at the end of day one, there was a tweet of a screen cap of you saying 8-0 incoming with the two decks you played. Yeah, so leading up to the event, I was just gonna play mono red. I thought it was great. And then I started playing on the arena ladder and was just getting slaughtered over and over again by uh, Esper. So I picked it up and was speeding everything pretty much. Uh, ben Friedman wrote a guide this week on SUG on the free side. So I read up on that, copied his list, didn't change a single card. I even asked him for some advice in the top eight match, so that was awesome. And then my modern deck, uh, Minguchi posted a, a guide yesterday or on Friday uh, about his Pro Tour list, mm -hmm. and he also had a guide, so I'm a dirty sideboard guy user. <laughs> Everyone complains about him until people take down tournaments with them. Exactly. They are very helpful. Here's proof in the pudding. Talk about that last game in the finals. Obviously, we had a five-game sweat, so that was nice for everyone at home. Yeah. You know, game three, he, your opponent mulligans to five. Just, you have to feel pretty good there. It just crushes yeah, you. I can't get crushed. Rally back, but in game five, that opening hand, I don't know if you can ask for much better than how that hand opened and curved out. Yeah, game three, I boarded out my heroes, which I thought would be a reasonable play on the draw. But I feel like it's just the most powerful card in the matchup. It helps you pressure the Planeswalkers. It helps you actually just go long against the Dreadhorde package. And you don't actually have to kill their creatures. You can just chump block them like you saw in game one where I don't have to worry about the Dreadhordes, I just need to worry about winning the game on my side, which is the problem with the matchup in the first place. Right, and as we saw, you created this sort of soft lock where he couldn't get Narset off the field, so he couldn't get Teferi off the field. Then you just chump block everything. Yeah. None of the things he's doing on his side of the table matters. You win by just this awkward go wide strategy out of this mid-range deck and it, dudes. and it worked in all the games you won you just had the super wide battlefield and it didn't really matter what he was doing exactly yeah it's really interesting i thought that hero would be a burden because i know that they're leaving in cast downs i know that there's Vraskas in the decks and i thought that trying to hedge away from them and focus on wrathing would be more powerful but i think it just makes you too liable to things like tamio and the dread horde and even the Nissa, you don't have any way to pressure it at all. Deck looked really good for you this weekend. Would you recommend it going forward in standard? Obviously, it took down the Grand Prix in Friedman's hands, took down this event now. It looks pretty good. I mean, I can't really complain about it, I guess. I went 9-1-1 one, one with the deck, and it, was, it felt fantastic all weekend. Okay. Have you thought about the token at all? Because that's a huge part of the Invitational win. If I'm honest, no. All right. <laughs> I like Shaheen a lot. His token uh, did a lot of work for you this weekend, but I think that's an easy candidate. Yeah, it might uh, be a cop out. <laughs> uh, so you're the champion now, Players' Championship. This is a pretty big deal. Have you been involved in a tournament of that structure before? Nothing as big as that, no. It's a huge, huge opportunity for sure. Okay. What about closing shout outs? I know you said you have a lot of people to thank. Yeah. Let's see if you can remember them all. All right. Shout out to Pat's Games for my sponsor. They're great. Uh, shout out to all the boys in Houston, uh, the Slack, the Facebook Messenger, uh, the boys that play Tuesday Night Modern, my parents, everybody who's watching me and supporting me, the people who loan me cards all the time. All of y'all, I wouldn't be able to do this without you. All right. Well, you came, you took it down, you had a perfect day one record, you came into the top eight, outperformed everyone else, you're now a champion. I'm glad to see it. Congratulations, Colin. We're going to send it back to Patrick and Sullivan, uh, Patrick and Cedric to close it out here at the Invitational.